Do you need a new fob for your Nissan or Infiniti vehicle? Or maybe you have a regular key and need a new one of those for your Nissan or Infiniti vehicle. Well, I'm Mike. I want to show you how you can use this simple key programming kit available from Tom'sKey.com to program a new fob or a new key for your Nissan and Infiniti vehicles in only 15 minutes. Let's take a look. Once you've ordered this simple key programming kit from our website, Tom'sKey.com, it'll arrive in the mail in just a few days. In the box, it comes the user guide for the simple key programmer. There's some important instructions here, like making sure your vehicle battery is good and charged. Turn off your headlights, your air conditioning, your heater, your radio, any lights that are going to be drawing the battery. Uh, you don't want the battery to drain while you're doing the programming process. All right, there's two steps to programming your fob. Any fobs that came in the box are going to require an activation step. Many times, if a, you order additional fobs that come separately, they may not require the activation step. So let me first show you how to go through the activation. You find your vehicle, this lookup table. Today we're doing a Nissan Altima 2015, and we have the four button remote with trunk. So we need code 42. The instructions will walk you through everything you need to do. The first step is to press the top and the bottom button at the same time. And you'll see a blue light that turns on solid. If you got a blue light like that, you know you need to go through activation. Now if you wait too long before entering the code, it'll time out and you have to start over. So be aware that many times in this programming process, the steps are time sensitive. Let's get it ready to activate. Okay, lights on solid. We'll use the top button to enter the number four. We'll use the second button to enter two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Now that we've completed that, we push the bottom button on the fob for about two seconds till it begins flashing back the code. Okay, one, two, three, four. Pause. One, two. Okay, we entered the code four, two. So it's been activated. We've entered the code four, two successfully, so this is now activated for 2015 Nissan Altima. Now there's a few things you should be aware of with this simple key programmer. First, it has a, a tamper evident seal. So once you use this on your vehicle, it will pair to the VIN on your vehicle. Now you can program up to four keys or four fobs for Nissan and Altima vehicles with this programmer. So that can be helpful. Just know you won't be able to use it on a different vehicle. Next, in this programming procedure, the instructions tell us to turn it to dial position number seven. There, we got it on seven. Now with the vehicle turned off, the engine not running, come down, we've got to find the OBD2 port. It's down near the brake and gas pedal. In this case, we find it right there. We're gonna plug the programmer in. We'll, he we'll hear it beep as it plugs in. Now there's some instructions that'll help walk you through these steps. Hold to confirm means to press the button for about two seconds. So we've got our one working key fob. Uh, notice this is the one with the tile key finder. If you don't have one of those, you might wanna pick it up on our website. It'll pair to your smartphone and help you always know where your keys are at, in case you lose them at the park or they're lost in your house. Okay, let's go through this. It says, hold to confirm. There we go. Gonna open the door and close the door. And I'm going to turn the hazard lights on. Press to continue. It warns us do not press the brake during the programming process. Press to continue. It's communicating with the vehicle. Press and hold the start button until the dash lights turn on. So I'm pressing and holding the start button. Dash lights turned on, I let go. And then we press to continue. Communicating with the vehicle. Turn the ignition off. Press to continue. All right, press start with the remote. The security light will blink. Okay, I'm going to press and release. Now the security light's flashing on the dashboard. You see that right there? 
flashed five times. So this key is now paired again. We're going to press to continue. All right, turn the ignition off. Ignition's off. Press to continue. All right, do we want to pair another key? Why, yes, yes, we do. We need to pair the new one now. So press to continue, or you press, you click, you click once to end. But we need to hold it down to pair another key. So let's hold it down for a couple seconds. Okay, pick up the next key. We got the next key. This is the new one we're programming that we activated. Press to continue. Press start with the remote, the security light will blink. Here it is, we're gonna watch for the security light to blink. Pressing start, but I'm not holding it down. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, it was blurry there, but you saw the security light blink. We're gonna press to continue. Turn the ignition off. The ignition is now off. Press to continue. Pair another key. Hold the pair or press to end. We're not doing any more key fobs today, so I'm just gonna make a quick click to end. To exit pairing, press, press start with paired remote. I'm gonna press start. Press and release. The dashboard light's all turned on. Press to continue. Start to turn the ignition off, turn the vehicle off. Key registration complete. Press to continue. Okay, unplug the installer. Okay, I've moved the key fobs away from my vehicle. I'm gonna try and start it now. And it tells me it can't detect a key. Okay, I've got my original one. Let's make sure it works. Okay, vehicle turned on just fine. Now I've got the new one. Let's try starting the vehicle with it. And voila. There we have it. Both key fobs Lock and unlock the doors and start the vehicle. After you've completed programming, don't forget to cut the emergency keyblade. To avoid the hassle of finding a car dealership or locksmith to cut the key, you can order our optional key by photos key cutting service. If you complete programming and you find that none of your key fobs are working, don't fear. The frequent last question tells you what to do. Programming Nissan key fobs starts by erasing all fobs. Now sometimes it goes wrong and you find you'll have no working fobs. But take a deep breath and don't panic. There's an easy fix to get the original key fob working again. Let's you know right here that you have to go through this procedure. It depends if you got stuck at th step 13 or step 14. In our case, finish step 14. And so it tells us to hold the original key on the start button for 15 seconds and go through that whole procedure. Notice how this light is flashing when pressed. So that tells us that it's still in pairing mode. Release the start button with the original key and then I'm gonna hold it there for about 15 seconds. And then I'm going to repeat this three times. Now watch for that security light. All right, you're gonna wait 15 seconds. And turned off. Notice it says key registration complete. With this key, I'll start the vehicle again. There we go, and we can start over at step one in the programming process. The trick is getting that security light uh, to turn on and blink five times. One other item I want to warn about. In a very rare but easy to fix situation, there are some push to start Nissan vehicles that have a fuse titled push button start. If this fuse had been removed, or was burnt out before programming begins, your vehicle may seem like it stops working. The dashboard lights will not illuminate. Around the push button start, there are some letters. The lock, ACC, and on buttons will not be illuminated. To fix this, you simply replace this fuse to get your original key fob working again, and then you can continue programming. 
Now we also offer a full money back guarantee. So if you try this and it just doesn't work for your vehicle, simply email help at tomskey.com and we'll provide a full refund when you send everything back with the original packaging. That's it. That's just how easy it is to use this simple key programming kit from tomskey.com to make yourself a new fob for your Nissan and Infiniti vehicles. Please visit our website. We've got lots of different kits available. As I said at the beginning, we also have vehicles that program keys for regular turnkey start vehicles like this in addition to these smart fobs. Finally, don't forget to pick up one of these tile key finders to help make sure your keys can always be found if they get lost. Now thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.